wouldn't tell you that if I was. Oh, finished. when did I start recording? Well, tell them where we're going. Um, Jake's Flea Market. Monica, tell them what you're gonna buy. Possibly samurai sword. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Okay, I usually don't do stuff like this, but I'm so excited about it, so I'm gonna make a vlog about it. This weekend, I, from Friday into this morning, which is Sunday, I was over my friend Kyle at Abby's house. Abby is a youth pastor, my best friend. Kyle's her husband. I suppose he could be classified as a friend. Just kidding. But anyway, but on Saturday, they took me to a flea market and I got so many good items. And I've seen people do hauls, so I just thought I would do a flea market haul for you guys because you don't understand what I got was so, so good. The first thing, actually, I'll go in the order of how I found everything. It, we went to the flea market kind of on a whim, so I didn't have any cash on me. Thank goodness Abby and Kyle had cash on them, so they let me just borrow some money and I actually wrote them a check. Our friend Monica was also with us. It was me, Abby, Kyle, Monica. We're all youth leaders at... The church that we serve in and yeah we all went monica was trying to find a samurai sword but the samurai sword guy wasn't there i'm totally serious and i wasn't really gonna go and buy anything i guess because i typically I'm, i really wouldn't consider myself a shopper by any means anyone that knows me knows i'm kind of cheap which can be good and bad in its own right but whatever there are so many things that i said i've always wanted and they just so happen to be at this flea market the first thing i got was this vinyl. It's Diana Ross and the Temptations and the Supremes. And some of you guys might not know who those people are, but they're just amazing artists. I love music like this. I really just love so many genres of music. For this specific genre, I guess I don't know what I would call it. I don't know if it would be R&B. I don't know if it's on here. But for those who aren't familiar with these artists, one of the songs on here is Ain't No Mountain High Enough. So that kind of gives you an idea of the vibe. But anyway, I haven't had the chance to listen to it yet because it's been the weekend and my vinyl, like my vinyl player is in my office. So I'll be listening to that tomorrow morning. I'm listening to the album that I got. Can you just hear? Oh, I can't get over how just beautiful it sounds. So yeah, super, super excited about this. I just, they don't make music like this really anymore. So yeah. This is my first find and I got it for $2. I'll actually include the price for everything. The second thing I found, okay. The second thing I found you guys might not find as interesting, but I started collecting presidential $1 coins when I was in high school because there was a vending machine where a bunch of us would always just buy snacks. And one time I got changed and it was those presidential coins. So if you're just familiar with our normal $1 coin, it has Sacagawea on it, though I think they've changed it since then. But starting in like 2006, they started doing special $1 coins where it had the presidents on them. So I just started collecting them. I stopped in high school because I mainly found the presidential coins in that vending machine. And since then I haven't really seen them. But when I was walking through the flea market, I saw a table who was selling coins. It caught my eye. The guy's name was Sean. I had a list because I was just keeping track of the ones I had. I got just a whole bunch. I don't know if I want to like show them. Martin Von Buren. This is Ronald Reagan. Grover Cleveland. Chester Arthur. James Buchanan. Millard Fillmore. James Garfield. And then James Monroe. Before I put these away, the coins I got, I got 15. No, I got nine. I got nine and it was three for five dollars so i spent 15 bucks on them i was contemplating the purchase but because i don't think i was ever going to see those again i had i just had to plus he's really nice and he said he would keep an eye out for more so i'll probably stop by him and his family again it was actually sean and his family's first time at that flea market trying to sell things so hopefully i kind of helped with that 
I'm upset because I think they discontinued this and stopped at George W. Bush. And I really wanted one of Obama. I thought he, come on, like he's our first black president. He should get a coin. So maybe I'm wrong. If any of you guys want to help me with my collection, uh, I'm going to post what I have probably somewhere on the screen. And if, you know, you want to help a girl out and you so happen to, I don't know, DM me on Instagram. My Insta is always at the bottom or comment below. Um, I would put my address, but that's dangerous. This was the third thing I found. So I found this wooden chest set and these are all the pieces inside and I counted to make sure they were all in there. Oh, and I'm dropping one. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I'm just learning how to play chess. I learned a really long time ago, but now one of my students, his name is James. Shout out to you, James. Um, yeah, love him a lot. He's one of the students at the youth group and he started teaching me how to play and I told him like, we gotta learn. Okay, wait. So this is a pawn, knight. Oh wait, would this be a rook? Ah, sorry James, I promise I was listening to you when you explained the directions. If I'm remembering correctly, king, queen, knight, rook, pawn. Is there a sixth one? Yeah, I know these are not the same color. Oh, you can't even see them, sorry. I like have everything like laying out. Oh, these are all different colors, but if I had to guess, is there only five? I feel like there's only five different pieces. I know this is a pawn. Would this be a rook, knight? I want, which one, which one screams queen and which one screams king? If you were to see these, which one would be which? I feel like this would be a king. I feel like this would be a queen. Okay, so I think one of these is a king and one of these is a queen. I will go look it up, but I think that's all of it. Again, I'm still learning, or I'm reteaching myself. I was actually pretty hidden. It was behind some stuffed animals, but it was $5. And I think it's just really pretty. If you see, it's like, look at that detail. It's, I just think it's so gorgeous. I love the aesthetic of it. Sorry, I'm being loud. The fourth thing that I found, and I had been looking for something like this. It's a three piece vinyl set of Jackson 5. At first I saw this and I just saw shirt like shirtless guys and it made me uncomfortable. So I just passed by it until I realized what it was. And I double checked and actually a tip for anyone that goes to buy vinyl, always check inside the sleeve, one, to make sure that the vinyl is there and two, to actually make sure it's the correct artist. Cause one time I did buy a vinyl and it was, I thought Elvis Presley and it was someone that was not Elvis Presley. So I was very upset. Anyway, so there's one in here and here and here and it's their anthology album. So in this, like, I want you back. Oh my gosh, the love you save on here is, oh my gosh, I love that song. Uh, yeah, like ABC, I want you back or basic ones, um, Rock and Robin, oh my gosh. I think the songs I'm most pumped to listen to is the love you save. I mean, I want you back and ABC are just classics, but those are the ones everybody knows, which isn't bad by any means. Um, actually, Monaco bought this for me. I was gonna get it myself, um, but I was on the fence about it, but he insisted it only cost $10. So shout out to Monaco. So, ah, so excited about this one. The music's gonna be so good. I also will be playing this in the office come tomorrow. So I'm about to test my Jackson 5 vinyl that I got from the flea market on Saturday. Oh man, oh man, I can't believe I own this. Last thing that I got, I'm so pumped because I've been trying to find one of these and I was thinking about buying one online, but it was so like expensive. But I found this picnic basket and the cutest part about it, one, it's huge. I don't know if you could see by the way I'm carrying it, but it comes with stuff inside like utensils that you can use and wash and reuse again and i love being outside and i just love the idea of going on a picnic either by myself or with people and so it has the utensils on each side you could strap these plates in they're like plastic so nothing too crazy which is fine for the outdoors and this is where it's like pretty deep so yeah i'm really pumped about this and the lady said she would sell it between 10 to 15 so I, I got it for $10. Some pro tips that I've learned that I actually learned from Abby and also TV is don't bring singles to a flea market for haggling purposes because 
For example, let's say something is $17. And if you have singles, you can pay $17. But if you say, let's say you only have three fives and be like, I only have, if you tell them I only have three fives, will you do it for 15? A lot of people will end up letting you haggle down. So I, because Kyle and Abby had money, I told them, give me exactly $10. And then I went to the lady and I said, all I have is 10. Is that okay? And it was. And I had Abby look at the basket and she, like, because I just wanted to make sure it was a good deal because she's better at this than me. I'm kind of new because I also am so passive aggressive. So haggling isn't really my thing. Sorry if I'm talking really fast, but as she's picking it up, so if the lady's on the other side and it's me, Abby, on this side, she picks it up and goes, Catherine, this is a great deal. And I just started cracking up. Yeah, overall, just a really great flea market day. I had no intention of buying anything, but a to I think it total from what I purchased was $32.00. So I, that's a little more, that's actually like a lot more than I usually spend on myself during the month. Anyway, thanks guys for watching and just indulging me as I just talked about my flea market haul because I'm so excited about it. I'm so, so excited about it. But I hope you guys are having a great Sunday or whatever day of the week it is. And as always, love all people, no exceptions. Bye.